Welcome back. Let us finally check out how we can figure out the version of software running on an open port. For now, we managed to discover open ports, we also learned what different scans do and which ones are better to use. And we learned how we can identify an operating system on some of the targets that we scan. Now, let's see one of the most important parts that will also help us in identifying vulnerabilities. So, why do we care about versions of software so much? For example, I might somehow find out that Metasploitable is running Apache web server on port 80. But that doesn't narrow all the possible attacks too much. Of course, it narrows it down to only search for Apache vulnerabilities, but Nmap can even go as far as discovering what exact version of Apache is it running. Then, after knowing the version, we can search that version on internet and try to see whether there are any known vulnerabilities for that specific version. So version discovery helps us a lot. And let's see how we can perform it. To perform version discovery, we use the option dash sv. So I will run the command nmap dash sv. And as usual, we're going to be scanning our metasploitable. Now, this command also requires pseudo privileges, so make sure to type it at the beginning of the command. sudo nmap sv and then the IP address. Press enter. Enter the password. This particular scan could take longer than other scans, because right now we are deeply scanning the target. Let us check out at what percentage is it at. So 91%, it should finish in just a few seconds. Let's wait for it. And here it is. We can see we got a bunch of result right here. The new thing that we got from all the previous scans is this fourth column. Remember, once we scanned previously, we only got these first three columns, which are the port number, the state of the port, and the servers that it is running. Right now, we also get the version of the service. So let's go quickly through this. We got port 21, which is FTP, and right here we got the exact version of what type of FTP software does it have. For the SSH, we get the same thing, so the version of SSH is OpenSSH, 4.7, Debian Ubuntu. We got the Telnet, the SMTP, the HTTP, we got that it is running the Apache HTTP 2.2.8. For the SMB protocol, which is port 445 and 139, we got that it is running Samba, from the 3. Point something to 4. Point something. In this range will be the version that it is running. What we would do with this information, as I already mentioned, is we would just try to search for some known vulnerabilities for the specified versions. For example, if this Apache version right here has a known vulnerability, we would discover it by pasting this in Google and typing vulnerabilities. And whatever comes up, we would test this on this target and see whether it works or not. Since some vulnerabilities could be patched. We never know, so we want to try it out. Down here we also got the versions for the other ports, so we get a bunch of results right here. What you would do with this scan, since this is really useful, we would type this on our report and we would use for the future references. For now, let me show you another option that you can use with the version scan. And that option is intensity of scanning versions. We can type it like this. So if I use the same command, let me just clear the screen so we can see it better. If I use the same command and after dash sv I type dash dash version dash intensity and after the version intensity we need to specify how high we want the intensity to be. And it can be set between 0 and 9. The default one which we used in the last scan is 7. So every time you don't specify this option it will be 7 by default. If we set it all the way up to 9, then we will have higher possibility of identifying the correct service version. However, in 99% of Nmap scans, this option is not needed. You can just leave it on default, which is 7. If you set it to 9, it will take longer time, and since we're scanning a target that is on our own network, it will still do it in just a few seconds or minutes. But if you were to scan a real target, Nmap scans could take a lot more time to accomplish. 
so you always want to consider not only performing most accurate scan possible, but also performing a scan that will be equally fast and accurate. So sometimes we have to lose one thing in order to gain the other. That would be pretty much all for the version scanning. Now we're not going to be running this command since I can tell you right now that it will give us the same output as the previous one. So in this case increasing the version intensity won't help us too much. And as far as these options go, there are more options for the version discovery that you can check out inside of the Nmap manual. But before I end this video, I want to show you another thing that I also use a lot and that is the dash A option. So let me show you right here. If instead of all of this, I specify dash A and dash A is so called aggressive option. It enables some advanced features of Nmap those advanced features are, well, first it enables OS detection without specifying the dash O that we already covered. It also enables the version detection without specifying the dash SV. And it enables something called Nmap script scanning. What Nmap scripts are, are something that we will cover shortly. For now, just remember that dash A enables all of those things that we covered in the previous videos, including Nmap scripts. And since dash A is one of the more aggressive Nmap options, please do not try this on targets that you do not have permission to scan. However, let us test it out on our Metasploitable target, and if you want, you can also try to scan your home network with it. Just keep in mind that since it is using all of these options, it will take some time, even if it is scanning our home network. So, if I run this command, this will take some time, if I press upper arrow it is 78% done. And the output of this option we are going to see in the next video, as well as some other useful things that we can do with Nmap. As soon as we check that, we are going to get into firewall evasion using Nmap. See you there.